Hi. Hi, my name is Luisa and uh, I have been a professional bee farmer for the last four years here in Scotland. Today um, I'm preparing the bees for winter. It's um, about the 9th of September and um, I have weighed every single of the hives here in the apiary and um, what I'm finding is that um, the bees have about um, 14 to 20 kilos of honey so uh, this is barely for them to, to go for winter so that means that I don't have any harvest but that means as well that I'm going to close the, the whole apiary I have 15 signs like this and uh, when I came to beekeeping um, I wasn't aware about what beekeeping was indeed I thought that only the, the surplus was uh, harvested and uh, well I was surprised when I found that uh, you know what we have to do is to um, harvest to the last drop with uh, two kilos or three of honey and uh, replace replace all their all their food for winter with um, water with sugar. That was quite shocking, <clears throat> so I decided that I will try something different. And uh, so for the last four years, uh, I have been having different jobs and uh, just trying to market my honey as a sustainable honey, but it hasn't worked. dismantling the apiary and uh, I want to pass a message that um, beekeeping is not sustainable uh, in certain countries at least uh, like here in Scotland probably uh, down south here as well there's actually not enough um, flowers for the bees at all so uh, in certain areas, the, the way uh, beekeeping is working is by removing the, uh, all the honey from the bees and giving them water with sugar uh, for winter. So you might say, well, what is wrong with that? That's what, anyways, all the, all the beekeepers turn to say, what's, what's wrong with that? The bees are fine. Um, well, um, there's very little research and uh, if um, I managed to create a, a movement to, to prove it. I would like to prove it with facts, but right now, what I can say, after having read Michael Bush, uh, Natural Beekeeping uh, Bible, um, is that water with sugar is a nourishing. It doesn't have uh, minerals, vitamins, amino acids, and antioxidants. I can also say that water with sugar doesn't have the medicinal properties that honey has that helps the bees to fight with the bacterium and the mites and the series of microorganisms that have like a little ecosystem inside the hive. Water with sugar has a pH of uh, about 6, whereas honey has a pH uh, around 3.5-4.5. And uh, when you introduce water with sugar in the colony, in the hive, 
what you are doing is you are uh, alkalinizing the environment, therefore uh, killing and uh, messing with all the microorganisms in the hive. And uh, apart, uh, water with sugar is also very humid and when you feed it by this time of the year to replace all the honey for, for sugar, um, you get quite a bit of moist inside the hive, which is not no good. Um, so basically I see many, many reasons just now um, for being cautious and uh, given that the bees are on decline, not going the first choice, um, harvesting everything and giving them water with sugar. Anyways, this is my common sense and this has been my decision to close the apiary. And uh, I am in a situation where I really need to rehome all these hives and please I'm asking um, for a I'll say be heroes, um, really a hundred, a hundred very exceptional individuals that would like to take care of these uh, girls as they deserve, um, letting them their honey, not bringing them by fields of oil seed rape where there are pesticides and uh, possibly if they would like to come together in a movement for the animal rights of the bees as farm animals and perhaps to prove that there is an alternative to beekeeping which is sort of, we could call it wild beekeeping which is more of a curing of the bees and conservation rather than farming them because uh, beekeeping is indeed farming so um, um, I think that the bees are quite important and that um, farming practices are, are not what they are just needing now um, so uh, thank you for listening, have a lovely day and uh, take care, bye.